Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the North Broward Preparatory School here in Coconut Creek, Florida. My name is Sam Gelfand, the voice of the Eagles, joined as always by my good friend Ben Curtis. And we'd like to be the first to welcome you to this game between the Pompano Beach High School Gordon Golden Tornadoes and your North Broward Prep Eagles. This is going to be a fun one, isn't it, Ben? Absolutely, Sam. The first district game of the season, North Broward looking to improve on last year's 10 and 10 record. They come into this one with a one and one record, including an extremely convincing 26 to four win over Coral Springs Christian in the opener here at the brand new facility at North Broward Prep. Lost 10 nothing to the number one team in the country, Archbishop McCarthy, and they come in to take on the defending 5A14 champion, Golden Tornadoes, who are one and zero coming into this one. As I'm about to go do some PA because I do double duty, you win 26 to four in your first game. You lose 10 nothing in the second game. What does that dichotomy say about North Broward's play coming into this season? Well, it says that that they're prepared for a lot of different scenarios. Obviously, the uh, number seven, Mike Schuler. Obviously, playing the number one team in the country is never easy, and the fact that they could go all seven innings with them, they didn't get mercy ruled. Uh, certainly something that North Broward can take into this one as a positive, but they got their ace, Raul Kennard, on the mound. Uh, first district game is when the season really starts to begin in the minds of a lot of North Broward fans, and we're ready to get underway. As you mentioned, Raul Kennard on the mound tonight. He was on the mound for the 26-4 victory as well. Mike Schuler is the first batter, and here's the first pitch. He's going to look at it for a strike, and we're underway. Ro Kennard is wearing number 12. He held. What team do we play in the first Coral Springs Christian. Coral Springs Christian to four runs in three innings. Four innings, I'm sorry. Here's the pitch. And that is fouled off somewhere towards Lions Road. We've got a lot of notes to go through tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We've got eight pages of notes. Ben did his research, everybody, and Schuler, a leadoff man, for good reason for Pompadour Beach High. He's got two stolen bases already on the year, so Kennard wants to make sure he keeps Schuler off the base paths where he can cause havoc. Next pitch, ball high. It is one and two to Kennard. Schuler playing center field tonight. Ty Marsh is his counterpart for North Broward. Here's the payoff. Breaking ball just high. By the way, folks, uh, we should mention that uh, the video is one or two seconds behind the audio. We appreciate it for that. As I like to say, think of it as your own personal instant replay until we get this figured out. Uh, new field, obviously, new circumstances, but we're glad you're here. And same old Raul Kennard as he strikes out the first batter. North Broward coaches uh, asking the umpire to have a word with the Pompano Beach uh, bench. Obviously making noises, all right, but a general principle that when the pitcher's in his delivery, Sam, it's time uh, to stop and let the players play. It's a little bit unsportsmanlike, if you ask me. And now Kennard's going to toe the rubber. And look to deliver some heat. Fouls it off to the backstop. And Sam, that's four strikes in his first five pitches uh, for Kennard. That's always one of his problems that we've seen is that control, so he looks to have it under control so far. Bernard wearing a very interesting red glove tonight. Here's a pitch. Floats it in there for the second strike. You gotta wonder why he went with the red glove as it doesn't match anything on North Broward's uniform. Uh, just sometimes a personal preference, but I, what I really like uh, so far from Kennard is his ability uh, to find the strike zone with multiple pitches. He's found it with the fastball and with the off speed. Here's a pitch. Slightly in the dirt, one and two. Batter on deck, hands the ball back to the umpire. Good on him. Good sportsmanship. We like good sportsmanship. Always like to move the game along when possible. No reason not to, Sam. Bernard sets back up. A one two. And that's going to be hit into right field, but it looks like the right fielder gets under it. And we've got two outs. Number four, Trevor Nisker. 
And as I just said over the PA system, this brings up Trevor Niskern, number four. He's playing second base for the Golden Tornadoes. Niskern with one of the RBIs so far for the Golden Tornadoes. He got one in Pompano Beach's first game. As, uh, that pitch was high, I do believe. Um, and a 6 nothing win over Highlands Christian. He is a righty. Kennard is also a righty. But Kennard couldn't find the strike zone there. 2-0 and to Niskern. Logan Clyde, the catcher for North Broward Prep, set up inside, and uh, Kennard hit him inside. Uh, just a little bit too far for the Empire's liking. You have to admire Kennard, though, for being willing to go inside. A lot of pitchers at this level too afraid of hitting people as Niskern hits one foul to go inside consistently. Absolutely, but with the, with the control that we've seen from Kennard tonight, uh, it's good that uh, manager Brian Campbell, who's probably calling this game, is able uh, to have the trust in Kennard to have him go inside and know that he's not going to hit the batter. Brian Campbell, North Broward's faithful manager over the years, as Niskern rips one into left, he's going to catch it without a bounce, though, and that's going to end the top of the first. Score is nothing. Nothing is going on. We'll be right back. Brainwash Sports, Twitch TV. Leading out for North Shore, number nine, Xavier Pittsburgh. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the bottom of the first inning here at the North Broward Preparatory School in Coconut Creek, Florida. If you're just joining us, I'm Sam Gelfan, joined by Ben Curtis for Brainwash Sports Twitch TV. And Xavier Edwards, the shortstop, is going to lead off for North Broward. Edwards, commit, got some speed for North Broward Prep and was the first of the back-to-back -back inside the park home runs that we saw uh, on the back of the opener against Coral Springs Christian. Uh, certainly a sight to behold, Sam. We should probably just repeat that for the people at home as Edwards takes his first strike. The last game, or the first home game, started off with back-to-back -back inside the park home runs. Absolutely unbelievable. Both of those were hit to deep left field. You think they're going to be looking for that again? Well, 
I don't think so, Sam. I think that Edwards and Marsh both have displayed their power enough. But Papado Beach is an experienced enough team. In fact, all upperclassmen on this team, so I think that they'll uh, know what they're looking for. Edwards rips one foul. That had some decent power on it. Speaking of decent power, this pitcher, Chase Costello, looks like he can bring a little bit of heat to him. Well, he is batting in the cleanup spot for the Golden Tornadoes tonight. Of course, we haven't seen how well he hits yet, as it was a 1-2-3 inning for Raul Kennard. Here comes Costello. Grounded on the line to the third baseman, diving stop. He's safe and kept away from the first baseman. Nice play from Stevenson, though, over at third base. Maybe the diving stop just couldn't beat the Speedy Edwards. No number three, Mark. Certainly great effort from the third baseman there, who your scorebook is blocking his name for me. That would be Matt Stevenson. But it was the error of the first baseman. Are they going to give him a hit or an error I'm for that, do you think? Ben Curtis keeping score for North Broward tonight. Both of us are multitasking. I'm doing PA, the music, and play-by-play. -play. Ben is doing the scoreboard, keeping score as Marsh gets a foul tip. And he is also your color commentator this evening. We like to multitask here on Brain Marsh Sports Twitch TV, Sam. Not necessarily that we like to multitask, we, we kind of have to. We have to. Just as good. T-I-N! By the way it works. Tries, tries to pick off the runner, not successful. First move we've seen tonight from Castell. It looks good when clearly not his day. Uh, but it, he, uh, just trying to keep Edwards honest. Obviously, Edwards in the leadoff spot has some speed as he tries again, and Edwards is backing again safely. Marsh taking his time getting back in the batter's box, maybe trying to disrupt Costello's rhythm. Hitter, as a hitter, it's always important to try and keep the pitcher on their toes. Looks for the sign. Decides against it and decides for a pickoff attempt, his third in a row. I guess that was really starting to ramp up his move now. That was the best one so far. And Edwards had to get back. Tell me, Ben, what kind of strain does it take on a pitcher to do repeated pickoff moves? Uh, well, it just really has to be disciplined. Make sure that you're not uh, throwing the ball away. You're making sure that you're firing the ball to first base because that can be one of the most dangerous plays uh, for a pitcher trying to go too fast, get a speedy runner picked off, and all of a sudden uh, the ball's in right field, but also can take your attention away from the batter, and Marsh is not someone you want to take your attention away from. And let's go try to protect now, kid. Come on, kid. Come on, now, Todd. It's funny you mentioned the ball getting away from the first baseman because it did briefly on that last pickoff attempt, but the first baseman was able to keep it in check. And Kennard decides against the check swing. It's going to be a ball on the board. Ty Marsh, a veteran of the North Broward system and playing on varsity or junior varsity since a freshman year. That ball slices towards not only the parking lot, but my car. That's a little concerning. That's why they make car insurance. Well, you know, I try to park far enough away from the fence just in case something like that happens, but you never know, especially when you got someone with pop like Ty Marsh. I think that's just one of those times where you have to say, please. Don't let it happen. <laughs> Another, Another pickoff pick attempt. When he almost and had Edwards leaving that time. Almost. almost. But you know what they say, almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And the second shot of a par five. I had that, that, that one. That works I, as well. I had that one myself. Mostly because I usually don't get close on the second shot of any par five. I haven't played golf in a long time. Here's a pitch. Edwards, Edwards does, does take off, off and it's hit right, right past the first baseman. Hensworth is probably going to round third. Marsh slides in a second and Edwards scores. North Ballard is on the board early. A double by Ty Marsh. You wanna play by 
Contrary to what these...